Howdy hey, welcome back to All About That Disney Life. I am Danny B, the girl who is all about that Disney life. We now move on to The Fox and the Hound 2, which came out in 2006, so let's get to know this cast. Reba McIntyre was Dixie, Patrick Swayze was Cash, Jonathan Bobo was Todd, Harrison Fan was Copper, Jeff Foxworthy was Lyle, Vicky Lawrence was Granny Rose, Stephen Root was Winchell P. Bickerstaff, Jim Cummings was Waylon and Floyd, Rob Paulson was Chief. Rusi Taylor was Widow Tweed. Jeff Bennett was Amos Slade. Kath Susie was Zelda the Cat. And Hannah Farr was Olivia Farmer. Now we move on to the facts all about The Fox and the Hound 2. Number one, the backstory. This is an American animated direct-to-video buddy comedy drama film produced by Walt Disney Pictures and Disney Toon Studios and an intermediate follow-up to the 1981 Walt Disney Animation Studios movie, The Fox and the Hound. The movie was released on December 12, 2006, and the movie takes place during the youth of Todd and Copper before the events of the first half of the first movie. So again, this is another midquel, as you may want to call it, to another Disney movie. This sequel takes place right smack in the middle of the first Fox and the Hound movie before Copper heads off to become a real hunting dog, and then he comes back all grown up. So this is what I appreciate about this movie. It's another take about continuing off during the climax of a first movie. Number two, an award. At the Golden Reel Awards, this movie won for Best Sound Editing in a Direct-to-Video Project. Number three, bonus facts. This is the last movie to have the 1990 variant of Walt Disney Pictures logo in theatrical releases. Big Mama, Dinky, Boomer, and Squeaks are not in this movie. It was kind of shocking, to me at least. I don't know about the rest of you. Reba McIntyre and Vicki Lawrence both recorded the hit song, The Night the Lights Went Out in Georgia. Vicki recorded hers in 1973, and Reba recorded her version in 1991. The cricket bears a resemblance to Squeaks the Caterpillar in the first movie. Judging by the fact that the Grand Ole Opry is mentioned heavily by the characters, the movie takes place in Tennessee because the Grand Ole Opry is located in Nashville, Tennessee. The farm animals at the Grand Ole Opry in this animated movie strangely includes an Asian elephant, especially in the musical number Good Doggy, No Bone. It also features a monkey. These two animals in the movie seem to be part of a circus tour since they are not performers for the Grand Old Opry. The character Cash supports the fact about how he takes credit for himself, so fans and others are saying that his name is probably based on the American country star Johnny Cash. Number four, the good points and the bad points. Once again, this is based off of the internet's perspective of whether this is a good sequel or a bad sequel. So for the good points, fans are saying that the story is possible that the movie is fun with great music, the animation was wonderful, it was a great follow-up to the first movie, and it has its cute moments. Now for the bad points. Fans are saying that it lacks the charm of the first movie, that the sequel was not needed at all, the storyline was weak and predictable, the constant slapstick antics were not a fan, and this was another cash grab for Disney. And there you have it, all the facts to The Fox and the Hound 2. If you like this video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and I hope you have a zippity doo da day. Goodbye.